Hi there, welcome to my new tutorial of Google Analytics 4 Tracking. I'm Brown Model, expert in Google Analytics 4 Tracking, server side tracking, Google Ads conversion tracking, Facebook conversion API tracking, LinkedIn tracking. So, if you are looking for any of these services, contact me. You will get my email and WhatsApp number in the description. So, let's get started. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to. Uh, I'll show you how to. how to track select item select item select item event here you can see this is not so important but in for ga4 you can track the select item the select item so how to track the select item so click on the select item in the debugging mode and see the data layer of it you can see under uh, items uh, under items you, you can see the data there are lots of data so for select item what we will send for select item for that you have to know what you have to know from um, here recommended events what Google recommends to send for select item so you can see here I have got the select item here you can see select item so click on select item and you will see you have to send these three parameter you can see item item list id item list name and items so how to track this and send this three uh, value three uh, parameter value so uh, let's do this first of all i will create a trigger for select item for trigger i will copy this event and let's create a trigger first click on tag configuration this will be a custom event and paste the select item here and give it a name and save this now I'll create a trigger click on tag option then click on new click on tag configuration and then select GA4 event and click on the configuration tag here now type here select item And in the event parameter, I have to send these three things item list ID. So copy this item list ID. Then the next one is item list name. And the next is items. So for select items first, you have to uh, make a variable for items. I have already uh, created variables. You can see DLB commerce items. If you see this, the data layer commerce items, and I will see, I will check the data layer of select item. Uh, select this is e-commerce and under e-commerce, this is items. So if I take this e-commerce items, all items will be gone to GA4. So let's add this e-commerce dot items here. Now I will send the item list ID. So what is item list ID? You can see there are lots of items under items, and this is the ID item ID. So I have to send all the item ID. So how to send all the item ID for select item? 
so for that uh, you have to use a javascript code so i have to send uh, under items this item under these items and i have to uh, only take this item id so for that we will use a javascript code so let's see here is javascript code before that i have to create a um, i have to create a variable select select item select item product now go to the go to your debugging mode and copy e-commerce dot items e-commerce dot items let's see the items the items if i take this uh, all the uh, items will be gone uh, to ga4 so let's save this we will copy this name just like this we will copy this name without the uh, second bracket and we'll, we do not paste here we will not paste here for this item list id we will use javascript code see the process then you will understand what i am doing now i am sending the uh, select item list id so type here uh, data lab variable select item list id item id list this is the list of item id item id list so i will send here item id list this uh, parameter item list id so uh, go here click on variable configuration custom javascript so here uh, you here you can see this name i have to change this name i just created a variable called select item product so i am pasting here because uh, from items it will call only the it will call only this item id so i will copy this item id under items and i will just i will just paste here copy it and paste it in this uh, code i in this code from from this select item product this is a variable that i created and from this uh, e-commerce dot items there and the data layer is e-commerce dot item so and so from items only item id will be gone to ga4 and this code will call this code will take out this item id only so let's save this now i will add item list name so for item list name you just have to change this change this you have to copy this item name and you have to change this code here you have to place uh, item name in this uh, item id so now copy this code and go to a google tag manager and let's just create a variable so give the name of this variable this is select item select item name list 
so I am sending this this parameter you can see parameter item list name go here and just copy this code here you can see only item name will be gone to GA4 and, and it will call from this variable and this the and this variable data layer is e-commerce dot items so under items or uh, how many so it, it will call that item name so I hope you understand so let's click save and give it a name here and now I uh, select the trigger uh, GFO select item trigger this is the trigger and save this so uh, select item for Google Analytics 4 has been configured and you can check it now so let's check it I can also check it from Google Analytics 4 You can see has select item has been fired and you can see select item has been fired so I want to see that variable which I have created is working or not so just click on variable and scroll down you can see there will be commerce items so all items are going this is all items are going so and the next uh, one I have created is You can see DLB select select item ID DLB select item ID you can see and all the item ID are going and item name all the item name are going so it is working a hundred percent and if you want to check if you want to check in your GA4 you will also see the same result Let's go to the debug view mode. You can see here select item in third. And if you want to see the item list ID, you can see here this is the item list ID, and all the item list ID has received uh, to this GA4 Google Four, and also item list name. I have just configured all this for select item so it is 100 percent working so thank you so much for watching my video and hire me if you want to set up everything from browser side and server side accurately through google tag manager thank you so much